Hi guys, welcome to another episode on Barbie's Diary. My name is Barbara Omoldo and as usual, I film about family, career, lifestyle, all things relocation, immigration, and settling in a new country. Yeah. So guys, this is a pretty chilled video. It's a very unpopular video because how is it that I'm also one of you guys and I'm addressing you guys? Right now, I think I'm at 2,500 subscriber mark. If I'm being sincere about my growth on YouTube, I think I'm going to address this in two ways, in, po in a positive light and a negative light. So when I started YouTube initially, I was really scared about building up my following. I really do not know so many people, yeah? And I was wondering how I was going to get 100 subscribers and then 200 and then 300. And today I'm at 2,500 and I'm like, whoa, so 2,500 people follow me to watch what I do. Must be nice. Another very funny way to look at it, yeah, because... I put in the work because I churn out videos all the time. I'm not, I, I give out useful content. I am expecting to see even much more viewership, much more following, much more engagement, and I'm not getting as much as I would love to. And that's the part where you now begin to feel like, should I really be doing this? It's not a waste of my time. It's not like the money is that great. And that's why a lot of YouTubers start off YouTube, it feels like a promising channel, and then you begin to look for them everywhere. They are nowhere, nothing. They are not churning out videos. They have gotten discouraged. Perhaps the rapid growth they thought they would have, they did not have it. And then they get bored and they're off the radar. So I am here to encourage you guys, just like I keep encouraging myself. And this video is a video for my kind of people who are struggling on YouTube, new YouTubers who are struggling on YouTube. And yeah, I'm just going to share some of the things I've been doing in recent times and I believe have the potential to make you grow organically. I have to put that out there that this, I'm speaking about organic growth. So nobody that is looking for rapid growth, bring 1 billion to get 100K subscribers. No, I'm not talking of those kind of people. I'm talking of people who genuinely just want to grow a channel based off of what they are sharing and you know the connection they have with people of like mind that have decided to subscribe to the channel and watch their videos okay so the first thing i would say is to acknowledge that the journey is not easy youtube has become saturated especially for content creators that create content around relocation settling in a new city blah 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 we understand that almost everybody is relocating right now and almost everybody has a story to share and so there, there are so many people doing the same kind of content giving the same the same kind of videos uh, and yeah, it's getting overwhelming for viewers. As much as that is the truth, I believe that there is still value in your story. That is why I'll keep saying whatever it is that is of value that you're churning out concerning relocation or settling in, keep doing it. Keep doing it. There is something you're addressing that somebody else is not addressing. Secondly would be consistency. It's a hard one, honestly. Being consistent on YouTube is a hard one. And then you have to choose how many times I want to post in a week, what are the kind of content I want to be shooting about. So that consistency is what makes the difference. People can count on, you know what, if I go to Barbie's Diary today, I'm sure I will see a content that I have not watched. So I should go there. But then if they, are, they, they, they have not seen you in one month, they are most likely not going to remember that you exist and they'll move on to something else. And so you need to keep the viewers engaged by consistently posting i for one i post twice a week which is a lot for me trust me but i keep doing it i keep churning out those videos sometimes i tell myself you know what you need to tell these guys that you can only work with one video a week right but then the fear of going off the radar is what keeps me going and then i mean if in a if in an entire week i'm able to share perhaps less than one hour or at most one hour of my entire one week I think that is good enough. Look at what works for you. I'm not saying you should post every day. I know a lot of YouTubers, guys, that were so good that I was watching way back when I was in Nigeria and all of a sudden, they are nowhere on the radar. And now they are back on YouTube and they are struggling to get views. They are struggling to get 100 views. They are struggling to get 1,000 views. These were people that were popping at 5,000, 10,000 views. So YouTube requires consistency, okay? Please ensure that you are posting YouTube shots. I'm going to dedicate an entire uh time on this uh particular video to youtube shot but ensure you're posting youtube shot ensure you're uh, posting 
uh, in your community tab. Ensure you're asking questions. Ensure you are giving your two cents on issues. Ensure you are engaging the guys that follow you. Trust me. You need to keep engaging them, guys. You need to keep engaging them because they need to see that you are there. They need to feel that you are there. They need to know that you are there. So you need to keep engaging them through this platform. There's a reason why there's a community tab. There's a reason why you can have live videos, even though I've not had a live session before. You can have live sessions. There's a reason why you can create a post, post a short video or create a post, ask people how they're doing or share a behind the scene or something you're working on. Just something. Engage these guys, guys. Engage these guys, guys. Okay. So something else that I want to speak on really quickly, if I forget, will be YouTube Shorts. Guys, hmm. sometimes I think it was last month or the month before last month. But anyway, in recent time, I just decided to, to do one YouTube short per day. And I did that consistently for, for a whole month. And I saw the difference that that made on the channel. Guys, YouTube Shorts is the most random, messed thing ever. One, it is short. So for people who feel like, Oh, your videos are too long. They can easily just watch, watch 30 seconds video and they are good. And they have an idea of what is happening perhaps in your life or in the aspect of your life you want to share. So something random, guys. Maybe uh, something the kid said, like a 10 second kind of thing, and it will just blow up. There was one I posted of receiving uh, my parcel. As I was bringing, I brought in the, I opened the door, brought in, I opened the door, brought in the parcel, and that video was at over 5k views in a couple of days yeah and then i got over 20 followers from that video i'm like are you guys kidding me that was like a less than one minute video guys a less than one minute video something really random so you see all those small small videos you have on your phone that are like 10 seconds three seconds you can merge them together into something really good so guess what guys you might post a 20 minutes video talking about the most important thing and you only get two subscribers from that video but then you post a 10 second youtube shot and then you're hitting 20 subscribers and you're wondering what is happening youtube shots might just be the secret guys another thing would be to monitor your analytics guys look at your returning subscribers and your new subscribers so who are those watching your videos are they returning subscribers if they're returning it then means that uh they found value before and they they have some kind of confidence in you that they can come back to watch the channel if they are new subscribers then you're you looking at okay this video had more new, new subscribers what did they find in that video that made them think to subscribe and how do i retain them so they do not lose interest it's also good to monitor the subscriber count per week or per video and see what is doing well if you see a video is doing well Look for how you can build on that to create more content or create more content around that to uh you know maintain that momentum that you have then of course there's the monetary part of it the monetary part of it might be might not be as good as we want it to be but it is what it is a lot of us that do this we have other things that give us money so it's not our nine to five some of them is their nine to five so you're doing yourself a lot of disservice if you now begin to feel like oh they are doing so much they are getting all the brand deals they are getting all the influencing deals they are making all the money on youtube i am not making all the money well that is their nine to five you have another nine to five that pays the bill this is just an extra an addendum for you so don't compare yourself unnecessarily don't beat yourself and say oh this person is turning out turning out videos every day and i'm doing it just once a day well you have other businesses you're dealing with perhaps you have businesses you have a nine to five you have other things don't sharp pressure yourself just do it with joy do it with love if it's one person that you know you you get to to help that is good enough for me whatever stage you are in your youtube journey just embrace it just love it just do it with joy it's the only way you do it with joy that you can keep at it this is i i mean i've been doing youtube consistently for almost almost two years now and i even surprised myself i'm like eh? even though it's not giving you money and it's not like it's easy you are still here like i surprised myself i'm like no as a barber this is not you but it's because I, I i enjoy doing it i have you know it's fun for me another thing about the big youtubers are some of them have 200k followers and then people that watch their videos are 20k right that's like 10 percent of people that watch your videos now if you have a thousand followers and you have 
100 people watching your videos. That's also 10%. So you cannot look at your 10% and say, hey, God, there's only uh, 100 people that are watching my videos. And that other YouTuber is 20K people that have watched their videos. Well, that is their own 10%. Your 10% and that person's 10% is not the same. You are like right. me. You are building a channel. It seems difficult. Things are not working out the way you want it to work out. Please let me know in the comment section. Don't be shy. We Let us just follow each other first. Let's start from there. I think I'll pin my own there so that you will just follow me if you are seeing this video. So please, if you are like me and you, you know, you, you've been trying to build a channel and it's not, it's not, it's not working out the way you want it to work out, please just say so in the comment section. Hi. Just, just say hi. You don't need to say anything. Just say hi. We know what to do. And please, if you see anybody say hi in the comment section, please just click on that person's uh, name or the profile picture and then subscribe to their channel. Please. I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, please do that for me. And if you don't even have a channel, if you're just a viewer, you know, that always come by my channel or you somehow stumbled on this and you want to encourage struggling YouTubers like myself, please feel free to uh, hit our profile or our YouTube channel names and follow us, help us. As in, it's the least you can do for all the work we are doing, trust me. The work is a lot, but if we just need you to just follow and comment and like and engage so let's start with even subscribing to the channel so if you're a viewer and i know you've subscribed to my channel but if you see other people that have said hi please subscribe to their channel as well leave us a message let us tell us well done tell us well done we deserve it guys tell us well done and yet if you are the big big guys you are the ones ruling the industry it's right for african community and you somehow stumbled on this video please help us by following our channels it means so much to us you know we'll be happy you did we'll, we'll be so glad you did follow my channel follow other people who have said hi in the comment section and yes i find that a lot of people watch and they don't share like they just want to retain all the information for themselves please know share with your family and friends that's how we spread the tentacles of the information we're sending out to people another thing i forgot to mention guys will be collaboration we sincerely need to collaborate so reach out to like wines like yourself doing the same kind of content and see how you can collaborate. I have collaborated with a couple of people, both uh, YouTubers and non-YouTubers, and I intend to do even more collaboration. So if you want to collaborate with me, please let me know. I am happy and open to collaborating with a number of YouTubers as well. And yeah, let's continue to keep pushing and we'll see at the top. Okay, guys. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye, guys.